women if there's a man who doesn't like chatting with you conversing with you don't marry him and think it will change the man is too selfish and too busy with himself to think about you marry a friend marry somebody who converse with you marry somebody who talk with you if the person is naturally quiet that is a different thing but not a man who talks to his phone more than you browses the internet more than you converses with strange people more than you he will converse with everybody laugh and shout and lift up his hand and when it comes to you it's only issues instruction and you can see it in courtship it's enough warning that if you want a friend but not a professional husband because sometimes you can have you can hire a professional husband who will sleep with you and produce children with you because you are a factory for children if that is the case fine i don't have a problem you can even marry your enemy as long as he can sleep with you and give you children that will be fine but if you want a friend you want a friend marry a man who is concerned who converses who talks but I, I, who converses with you not the talkative no somebody who communicates with you they call it communication then they call another thing money finances huh so marriage they talk about communication they talk about finances and, and sex these three things we are too busy i'm preaching i have an invitation the power of god is upon me spirit of god is upon me look at moses he will counsel the people from morning to night until the father-in-law had to talk to him too busy it's a culture and a habit you must kill as a man and it's a culture and a habit you must kill as a woman you are too busy for your husband you are too busy for your husband you are too busy with church work for your husband you are too busy with prayer meetings for your husband you are always praying you are always in church every day it is hira baba hira baba hira baba hira baba and when you get to the house it is hira baba hira baba hira baba oh darling i want to come eh? my prophet has called me i want to come eh? my teacher has called me i have to come eh? I, I, I will come back soon my pastor has called me i'm going to do this for my pastor and i'm going to do this for my pastor and what about me what about me what about me the man in the house what about me i need you to take care of me and the women do are shouting i need you to take care of me listen anybody that can take care of a woman or a man don't marry somebody's child or somebody's daughter and punish them don't marry them and punish them and then don't produce those children and neglect them listen what you make your wife know is the thing that will save you one day you see the land you have she doesn't know the car you have she doesn't know the family you have she doesn't know there are men who have two families one is here one is there the one that the wife doesn't even know that there's another family somewhere what your your woman doesn't know or what your husband doesn't know is the thing that will kill you one day and you will not have any salvation or deliverance but listen to me what you make them know will save you one day listen to me the development of your wife is your future the development of your wife is the weapon you are putting in her hand so that one day she will use that weapon to save you she's not in competition with you she is in complimenting you she's complimenting you she's making you stronger she's making you better she will make you look better one day when you need her she'll be there for you there are women you marry and they are no mumu the way they feel it they will say it better encourage them and tell them you know what i like what you say but not how you say it as for what you say is good so see, see please what you are saying can save me can you find a way of saying it in a better way but don't tell her i'm the man when i speak don't talk her silence will kill you she's not a doormat she's not a puppet she has an opinion she can bring it out and it will save you any woman you treat like a doormat you are opening the door for another man to come in and when another man comes in they say she's cheating she's not cheating she's surviving i'm not encouraging it but you created it you broken her down so much embarrass her and sometimes they just need somebody who will endorse her 
every day you get up and you say you too are you a woman when she walks out somebody says you look too pretty what is this beautiful woman doing here and then she'll tell the person you can say that again you can say that again you can say that again because i have a man who never sees it who never sees it and even when they see it they will never say it am i teaching 